Fancy Terry and his friend Richard Burge are chasing cats. No. Catfish, that is. All around Lake Buchanan. Though their day began awfully early. What's your head? It also started slowly. Come on, fish. There has been a bite or two. Oh, there he is. And there has been some good-natured ribbing. He jerked it like a girl. No. <laughs> but so far, there haven't been many catfish. He's talking to you. It's nice little blue. See how pretty they are? It's the big ones that Clancy is known for catching. I guide for trophy catfish. In order to attract these fish, Anchors away. some 40 Boy, feet down, Clancy and Richard serve up a variety of smelly baits. My wife says I can tell when you've been catfishing. <laughs> right, there's one. The fresh shad seems more attractive to another fish today. Oh, it's a striper. Clancy guides for striped bass as well. That's good, Richard. That's about a three to four year striper. If you can get the stripers out of your way, you probably catch some catfish. <laughs> Catfish are gonna be next. Get him, Richard. With some persistence, Clancy and Richard find what they've been fishing for. Catfish. Sure enough. <laughs> it ain't big fish, but something. And they'll be back to catch the big one another day. It's just a lot of fun. Especially if it's a big one. While some folks just enjoy catching catfish, others will literally line up to eat them. We got the catfish. I think it's worth the wait. Let's see. There you go. Catfish is a great fish. Mmm, that's good. One weekend each fall, the Conroe Cajun Catfish Festival turns Conroe, just north of Houston, into a capital Zydeco music and all things catfish. It's about everybody coming downtown and enjoying the catfish and all the food vendors and all the great Cajun music uh, and everybody having a good time. That's what I said. Right now, well, you know, catfish is a year-round thing. Yeah. The festival is also a chance for local fishing guys, like Carl Boston, to meet a few new customers and show off some Lake Conroe catfish. We get asked every year to come in and bring some fish, and the kids love it. You can't keep their hands out of the water where the fish are. <laughs> Soon after the festival, Carl is back on Lake Conroe. I think it's the best catfish lake in the state. Not with clients, but with friends. That's what I do on my days off. The two boats are out for an evening of jug fishing. Jugging, you're increasing your odds a whole lot because you can put up to five hooks on a jug, and depending on how many people you have out there, you could have hundreds of hooks working the area. Fish it. The GPS is really nice. Great little tool for us to track where we put them, and find each jug. Even the jugs themselves have gone high tech. These are what we call flagging jugs. Whenever a fish pulls on the line, He'll slide the counterweight to the bottom, and then we know it has a fish on it or something's hit it. Toss it, Steven. By the time the boats have anchored all their hooks in the water, that's all of them. Some of the jugs have already flagged. There's one back to our left. Yeah, he's on here. There you go. A nice little blue cat. Catfish are caught, hooks are rebaited, Fishing. and jugs are returned. The circuit continues non-stop, and as night falls, the ice chest fills. If you want to make a fish haul, jugging's the way of doing it. Jugging is also a good way to find the big cats. I think we have a decent fish coming up here. Pulling in a large catfish can require a little bit of teamwork. We got about a 20 pounder coming up. That's it. Ah. 
just fun to come out and see how many of the big ones you can catch. How much does it weigh, George? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we really enjoy it. We got them out. The thrill of catching a trophy fish does not require keeping it. 26.4. Take a picture of them, turn them loose, <laughs> let them grow. Maybe next year you'll weigh five more pounds. So Morris, Wayne, and George have their own policy regarding these big and most productive fish. They keep only a photo. Okay. <laughs> and they keep a good story, too. Yeah, they want to us when they get in that water. Well, that's a good start for the evening. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Increasing interest in catching catfish in large numbers or sizes has also increased the need for studying catfish. And as the interests change, obviously the management has to change. Come on, little fishies, come on, little fishies. Nearby on Lake Livingston, right biologists are learning how to measure populations of catfish okay. species more accurately. It does get fairly fast-paced. I've frequently heard it referred to as a, as a rodeo kind of collection. Up front, front right, Dave. If you pump electricity into the water, it ends up stunning All fish. Right. Uh, this has been known for a long time. Poachers did it in the past. We can do it legally, whereas others can't. It's a very efficient method. We needed thousands of fish to be collected, uh, tagged, and then released to get the answers we were looking for. $3.99. Got it. The marking was specific to different fin clip combinations, so when we recaptured the fish, we could tell where that fish came from. A few fish were kept for some other samples for aging and those kinds of things. 798. Ultimately, standard sampling protocols will be developed from that. As biologists get a better picture of catfish populations in reservoirs and rivers, they can better keep catfish healthy and anglers happy. Whether you want to take some fish home to eat or whether you want to try and catch a trophy, uh, that's, that's kind of the goal in all of it, is to make sure those opportunities are there for everyone across the state. Here we go. Mine's bigger. I don't know, mine's bigger. That means Carl and his friends <laughs> should always be able to go fishing for cats. We got a cat fight going on. <laughs> if I can be on this water, I'm going to be on this water. Whether it's a job or not, I'm going to be fishing. Oh, boy, you got another nice one. Whether on a hook, a little bit of a workout, on the menu, or on their own, there is just something fun about catfish. I've always been a catfish man. You know, they say we're a breed of our own, and everybody has their favorites on this lake that we make. We're happy about all this. 35? 35. That's a pretty one. Okay. I love it. <laughs> yeah.